Hello everybody, uh, this is Omega45 and today I have a new video for you. Uh, this is in a whole different world, this is my test world. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to build the fusion reactor from GregTech. It's a large multi-block structure. Um, it's kind of the main feature point of my world, if you guys have seen my other videos, are the giant pink rings if you didn't know. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to build them. So first, you're going to start off with your fusion coils, right? And well, if uh, any, yeah, it will work for me. Um, the, these are expensive. The fusion reactor is unbelievably expensive. It is not going to be anything you're going to get anywhere close to when you start your world. It's going to take forever. I had pretty much access to infinite resources within just a couple days of playing and it still took me an unbelievably long time to do this. Um, so you're going to use your energy flow circuits, superconductors, uh, nichrome heating coils, highly advanced machine block in the middle, and iridium neutron reflectors. These take for freaking ever to make. It's incredible how long it takes to make these things. Um, but, you know, it they're they're worth it. These these things make so much power. It's insane. Uh, okay, so what you're gonna do is I have this raised off the ground for a reason. You guys will see in a minute. Um, it's it, you're making a circle with it, so it's gonna be start anywhere. You can put three down, then two, facing kind of like the same way, and single two facing this way, three. And you just go around the circle. Uh, I guess I'll uh, show this real quick so you can get just a better view of it. So if you want to pause the video and um, kind of just take note of that real quick, you can. So that's the base of what you're building. Um, right here is, this doesn't have any of the um, fusion machines in it yet. This is just what it looks like with all the casings on it. So don't build this, this is wrong. Um, this is just an example of kind of like a um, one with all the casings on it. So from this right here, you can go either two routes. You can go the completely ludicrous route, like I like to go, which is just fun, but it's insane, and it'll take forever to make, but it's it looks really cool. Or you can go the cheap route, which is much faster. So I guess since this is cool, I'll explain this one real quick, but um, I'll, I'll show you how to build that one when I actually make an example. All right, so there's four things you need. Well, four different kinds of things you need. First, you need a fusion reactor computer. And that is gonna go in any four of these flat faces right here, on the inside and the middle block. All right, so this is your kind of control panel, if you will, for uh, your fusion reactor. It has a nice little diagram in here of what your fusion reactor looks like. It's kind of hard to follow, but you can do it. And it has your fusion reactor recipes in here. Um, so how that's made is just like this. You guys, you guys can look these things up in any. I don't really have to go over them um, too much with you. I keep sorting these when I hit R, which is really annoying. Like that. Sorry. You know, let's just go on. Okay. Um, next, so you need at least one of these, but no more than one. So you just need one of these. Next is your fusion energy injectors. Uh, these don't have a GUI or anything. They're just simply blocks that you place in the world. They're a lot like casings almost. Um, they store 10 million EU each. So, yeah. And um, you need at least four of them. So 40 million EU total. And if you look at one of, uh, some of the recipes, to start, the lowest one, you need 40 million EU. So that's why you need at least four of them. Can't make a fusion reactor without four of these. Um, so these are just placed in the like diagonal, I guess, in between the flat faces. So it would either it would go here, um, he, uh, here, and here. And same on the outsides. We go on these two single blocks here. See how they're singles? There and there. All right. <clears throat> Next is your material injectors. And what I've kind of found is that one has to be on the top and one has to be on the bottom. No matter what side they're on, one has to be on the top, one has to be on the bottom. 
uh, I tried having two on the top and two on the top over here didn't work all right see so two in the top uh, excuse me one in the top one in the bottom at least so these are gonna hold your deuterium and tritium or deuterium and helium whatever you're using these are gonna be what you input those materials in so and you see it's got tank so you can input liquid it's really nice super super nice uh, that way you don't have to waste cells like you used to and then last but not least is here the material extractor and this is where your helium plasma is going to show up after the reaction is done okay so once this uses up the EU it needs to it's going to pull one bucket of whatever is in slot A and one bucket of whatever is in slot B and create uh, you know slot C I guess um, create one bucket of helium plasma okay so pretty easy it's this is the smallest setup you can do and this will this is the only um, you can only create helium plasma with this using tritium deuterium that's the only one you can do because you only have four um, four energy injectors whoa now it's just lagged out okay um, if you add more energy injectors, let's say here, uh, where's my energy injector? Fusion material, of course, this is the last one I pick. Energy injectors here, whoops. And two back here. Now I have 80 million, so I could do, I can do this recipe now, and uh, well, I can't do these yet, but kind of get the point. So over here, I have a completely ludicrous but awesome looking fusion reactor. Here's my computer. Everything in the sides here and on the outsides on these flat faces um, are the extractors. Everything on the tops and bottoms are injectors and everything in the corners are energy injectors. Okay, So this takes forever to build. All right, you can get like four fusion reactors out of this if you took all, all the extra pieces. Okay, so if you want to go down this road, be my guest. I've done it before, looks cool. Um, especially when you have the entire top feeding in helium, the entire bottom feeding in tritium, looks really cool. Um, but I wouldn't really recommend it for your first reactor. <laughs> I would say go with something like that. Um, and in case you're wondering, you need. For this one, you need 120 um, advanced machine casings, and for this one, you need 79. So just to give you an idea of how many, <clears throat> excuse me, just to give you an idea of how many machine casings you're going to need. So I thought I could just do a quick one for you. So I'm taking my control computer, not there, there, putting it in the middle. Then my energy injectors. So I'm gonna go with an 80 million EU setup so I can make uh, two recipes. All right. So one there and I'll put the other one over here. Okay. And then I have my material injector. So I'm gonna put put two up there and I'll uh, I guess I'll put the other two down here. Alright. And material extractor, so uh, I, li I like having lots of these, so I'll put four in. I think it's cool because with any you of know, the pipes like running across and stuff. Okay, so if you guys have watched my videos about my world, you don't really see any power cables running to these, do you? All right, no, it it's. These things are self-sustaining, which is super nice. So if you look at the recipe, not put a fusion component down, you see it takes, it starts, it takes 40 million EU. So it's like a startup cost, okay? Um, for every reaction after that, it'll only take 4,096 EU a tick for 120 ticks. Um, I think that's... I think that's on uh, I'm not sure I'll figure that out I'll put a little annotation um, but you're you're getting a ton more out every bucket create 8 million EU okay 
So there's no way this is taking 8 million EU in. So what you're going to do is if you get plasma, plasma generators, right? You can stick them down like this next to your energy injectors. You take a superconductor wire and just plop it down on top. Probably should have done this one first, but okay. Put it down on top and then just feed the plasma that comes out of this into your, into your um, plasma generators. And these will fill up very quickly, trust me. Um, and then whatever you don't use, you can just pipe out. So what I did is, I think I did it this way. Um, I have a test rack just sitting right here. Oops. So I would just have a test rack sitting here and here and two liquid ducts going into it, okay? And then that would go into a central store, storage uh, like chamber. Once that's full, it hit a redstone switch which would trigger a different test rack to begin to receive. So once that first tank was full, then my other tanks could fill up. And that first tank would only supply these. So my fusion reaction would never shut down. If you shut it down, it'll take 40 million EU to start up back up again. So just keep that in mind. Um, so that's pretty much it. Once you, go, once you start memorizing these, these are super, super simple to make. Um, well, not to make, but to set up, they're really simple. To make, they're pretty hard. Um, it's it's going to be a while, so don't don't expect this anytime soon. But I uh, hope you enjoyed. This is my first tutorial, so leave a comment saying uh, what I can improve on, and I'll see you guys later.